Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another live from Editing Tutorials. So, in today's video we are going to be checking out how to edit your travel photos like Gypsy Lust and Do You Travel. Play that intro. What is happening guys? Welcome back to another editing tutorial once again. So, as most of you probably know, I recently got back from my trip to Santorini and it was absolutely incredible. If you haven't seen it yet, just check it out on my channel, it is one of my latest videos. So, in saying that, I took quite a few photos there and Santorini, being the place that it is, attracts a lot of famous Instagrammers and photographers from around the world to go take pictures of this amazing, beautiful place. Luckily enough, I got to experience that and take a few pictures there. So, in today's episode, we are going to be editing those photos and I'm going to be showing you how famous Instagram travel photographers Gypsy Lust and Do You Travel have edited their pictures from Santorini. Now in saying this their styles are also very influential to my own Instagram feed and not my visual rev accounts but more so my at Dean Tucker account which is kind of my personal account but not really as well. I get like bored of editing in one style so that is kind of why I have two different accounts so that I have my visual rev account which keeps the main consistent style and then I have my Dean Tucker one which is a lot more film like which I used to do back in the past but now I've kind of evolved with my style and I want to keep it consistent so the Dean Tucker is more for the travel filmy vibes so we're going to be taking a look at some of the Santorini pictures and editing it in that style. At the end of the video as well I will be announcing that there is a preset pack available to download so please stay tuned until then. For now though let's just jump straight into the editing. So to start off we are just going to have a look at the profile of Jack Morris aka Do You Travel on Instagram and as we can see he includes quite a lot of browns and blues in his photographs. They all appear to have quite a 2D approach to them where he has these subjects in the middle with a rather flat background of some really epic landscape or interesting building. As I said I just got back from Santorini so we are going to be taking a look at his Santorini edit specifically and very specifically this one right over here. So if we jump into Lightroom I I've just brought this into Lightroom so we can see the kind of edit that we are trying to go for and for the example of this tutorial we are going to use this image which I took of my friend Ben Keeley while we are over there working for Red Bull. I've also just included a few other photos so I can apply the presets to them and show you guys how they work on all the other photos as well. So let's just jump straight into the edit then. So to start off I am going to begin with the tone curve and I'm going to bring up the fade quite a bit. I see in most of their photos they do bring up the fade quite substantially so I'm going to bring that up to around there and again just include the nice basic S curve that I do add to all of my photographs. Just touch it up a little bit in the mid tones and that looks good to me. So for this edit I am going to edit the individual RBG channels so going to the red one first I'm just going to bring the shadows down quite a bit. Now it does look really blue but we will balance this out with the rest of the channels as well so don't worry. Just making a basic S curve I'm going to bring up the mid tones to the middle and bring up the highlights just a little bit and now as I said we will compensate for this in the other tone curves as well bringing the green shadows down a bit keeping the middle in the center and bringing up the highlights just a bit and then lastly for the blues we'll do exactly the same thing just giving it a bit smoother of an s-curve i think that should be good for me now i know it's not really looking like the edit at the moment but don't worry we will definitely get there up next i'm going to edit the basic settings and what i've noticed from do you travel and jeffy last feeds is that they have very little contrast in their feeds they like to have quite flat and faded shadows and they bring down the highlights quite a bit so it makes the whole image quite gray and flat so in saying that i'm going to bring the contrast down to about minus 40 and then i'm going to bring the highlights down to about minus 65 and bring the shadows up to around 73. i'm also just going to bring the whites up a little bit just so that we don't lose too much of the contrast I'm not going to mess with the clarity, the vibrance or the saturation for now so we're going to move on to the HSL. Starting with the hues, I'm not going to touch the red and oranges too much. I am going to bring the yellows a bit more into the orange side though. I'm also going to bring the greens down into the yellow side just to affect this hillside a bit more. What I'm also going to do is just bring the blues up a little bit into more of the purplish color. I think it might just be a bit too teal for my liking at the moment. Moving on to the saturation, I'm going to bring the saturation of the reds down to minus 15. I'm going to bring the greens 
brings down to about minus 40. I'm gonna bring the aquas up to about plus 30. And then lastly, I'm gonna bring the blues down to around minus 30 as well. Up next is the luminance, and I'm gonna bring the red luminance down to about minus 15, bring the orange to about minus 10. We're gonna bring the greens down to minus 40 again. The aquas, we're gonna leave where they are. We're gonna bring the blues down to minus 30 as we had with the saturation as well. We're gonna leave the purple where it is and bring the magenta up to plus 15. Moving on to the split toning, this is where the magic comes alive in Do You Travel's photos. As I've said already, he uses quite a bit of browns and that is achieved, I think, through the split toning in his photos. So I don't think he adds anything to the highlights. The highlights are pretty neutral and unique to each photograph. I think you can change that according to the look you wanna go for. But for this example, I'm gonna leave the highlights where they are and I'm gonna bring the shadows to a hue of about 37, which is a brownish reddish kind of color around there. And then the saturation, I'm gonna bring it all the way up to about 34. Especially recently, he's been using browns quite a bit in his photos, so that's why I've brought it quite high. Next, we have the detail, and I don't think we need to mess with this too much. I might just bring up the sharpening a little bit, but you really don't need to if your photo is sharp already. With regards to the grain and the vignetting, I also don't think we need any of that. So I'm gonna move on to the camera calibration where we can make these colors pop even more. To start, I'm gonna bring the red hue up to about 35, and I'm gonna bring the saturation down to minus 10. For the green primary, I'm gonna balance this out a bit and bring it up to to plus 50 and bring the saturation down to minus 20. And then lastly for the blues, I'm gonna bring this down to about minus 35 and bring the saturation down to minus 40. So if we look at this from the before and after, it's looking pretty good. And I think we have come very close to achieving the look that they have in their photo. It does look like they have added a bit of grain in this photo. So I am going to go ahead and add some grain. I know I just said I'm not going to, but I'm just gonna bring it up to about 35 maybe. I don't think they have too much. It looks very fine. You can also see that they have taken this picture at about sunset time or sunrise So the light is a lot softer and also the background has a more orange magenta hue to it Which ours clearly doesn't just some final adjustments I'm gonna give this a bit of a crop just rotate that a little bit and I'm gonna get the square on for Instagram Bring that into around there Just crop that boat out on the left hand side hit enter and that is ready for Instagram where we post thing So if I lay them side by side we can see that there is a little bit of a difference but like i said this was clearly taken at a different time in the day if you really wanted to though you could go to the highlights and add a pinkish hue into the highlights just to kind of match it a little bit more so i'm just going to drop the eyedropper in this area over here and not make it too much otherwise it's going to look kind of out of sync with the rest of the photo and lighting so i'm going to leave it at around 10 and that is looking pretty good we might even bring up the temperature a little bit just a little bit and bring down the highlights a little bit and there we go that is the photo done so it looks pretty good in my opinion i really like the look of it and what i've done as well is created a whole bunch of other presets that are inspired by my santorini trip and that i use on my personal account so i'm going to be putting these in a preset pack where you guys can go check it out and download it for yourself but for now though i'm just going to show you some examples of these presets in action so i'm going to go through them and just show you how they're looking so d1 brings a bit more of the blue into it d2 brings even more of the blue into it but more of an aqua color also these can be used for more tropical kind of photos as well just really anything that you want to use it for d3 going into lesser of a blue color d4 desaturates that blue completely d5 brings a bit more fade into the picture d6 even more fade and grain d7 is good for sunset photos so i'll just show you with this photo right here if we click on d7 so that really brings out the blues in the highlights over there and i think we might just bring up the temperature a little bit just to balance it out and that looks really good to me so this is actually the photo that i posted on my instagram a few days ago if you want to check it out it is at visual rev on instagram d8 brings a much warmer tone to the photos i'm going to go over to this photo over here of me sitting on the poolside sitting poolside let's give this a bit of a crop d9 just brightens it up a bit d10 brings a lot more fade to the shadows d12 kind of desaturates and d13 is actually one of my favorite ones and this is what i'm using on my personal account at the moment uh, you might have seen this picture that i posted the other day i used d13 for this one so i love this look and this is the preset i use most often on my at dean tucker account d14 just brings those blues right back in d15 is desaturated once again but also quite faded 
D16 is the preset that we have just created for this example right here. D17 is a wonderful black and white preset of my own creation and D18 is a black and white preset inspired by Do You Travel which is a lot more faded and a bit darker in its appearance. So if we head back on D16 which is the edit that we have just made looking amazing and from the before and after i think it looks really good so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial if you want to check out my own instagram as well as all these posts with my editing as well check out my accounts at dean tucker as well as at visual rev and there we go that is how i edit my personal photographs as well as achieving the look and style of do you travel and gypsy last now they do have many different styles to their photographs this is just one of the looks that i've shown you but if you would like to check out the preset pack and all the presets that i use to edit my own personal photographs on my at dean tucker account so go check that account out if you're not following it already uh, but if you would like to get those presets, check out the link in the description, which is like right there. And there will be a link to a site called filterpro.co where the preset pack will be available. In saying that, filterpro.co is a site where Instagrammers like can sell their own presets to their audience, as well as you can buy your presets from your favorite Instagrammers. So check that out. It is a really cool site and I would highly recommend getting on there as soon as you can. For now though, I'm gonna end this video here in terms of the editing. I just wanna say again, thank you so much for watching. Your support is absolutely insane at the moment. This channel is growing at a rate that I never imagined it would. And that is absolutely amazing. So I've got lots and lots and lots of videos planned. I spent the whole night yesterday just planning out a content schedule to be posting four times a week. So I'm gonna to stick to that. I am on holiday now, so that's amazing. Off from university and I'm gonna be pumping out the content like you can't believe. Also, got a really cool trip coming very soon and I'll make the announcement for that very soon as well, probably in like the next week or so, maybe two weeks, we will see. <laughs> Exciting times, I'm so excited and stay tuned for the big announcement. <laughs> anyway guys, I'm gonna end this here, I don't wanna keep you too long, thank you again so much for watching. If you did like this video, please leave a like, if you are new around here, hit the subscribe button. In the meantime, stay weird, don't die and make it happen. I'll see you guys in the next one.